Hello! What? Wow, that probably fucking made everyone deaf. Hello there. Welcome back to Let's Play Rustic Like 2, episode 6. We don't have enough money to buy the mini turret glove. Oh well, that's too bad. We're gonna continue on inside of this planet. I don't remember the planet name. Was it planet Endico? No, I think Endico was the last one. Anyways, uh, these enemies are real fucking assholes, and they can fuck right off. These enemies as well, but they can fuck off a little bit less. That are a little bit less annoying as the other ones. Um, there's nothing special in here or anywhere around here. So if you're thinking like, hey, maybe I should look around a bit more than uh, how the fuck Mark is doing this. Because hey, maybe there are some secret things. There aren't... Don't even think that there are... Don't, don't even think for a second that there are. Also, I think this planet is called Planet Barlow now that I think about it. You know what? I can check. Is it? Yes, it's Planet Barlow. Look at me. I am actually... I actually have some form of competence. Also, these fuckers can go right away as well. So anyways, uh, yeah, last episode, I said... I think I said last episode, I don't know, it's been... Oh, Jesus, it's been a couple of days since I recorded that one. But uh, last episode, I did say that there are uh, that there are some some skill points. Well, only one skill point on this planet. And that's that skill point is going to be a bit of a hassle. This entire episode is probably going to center around uh, the part where that will be gotten. Which, if you can't guess by now, it's going to be get it's going to be gotten during the, during the hover bike races, and the hover bike races can be a little bit of a pain because if you if you remember from uh, Re the last Resident and Clank one let's play, is that uh, my my brain f doesn't function well when when I have to race around a track, so my commentary suddenly turns from kind of eh to fucking trash so I'm, I'm very interested to see uh, how, how that's gonna go <laughs> Cause I kind of have the feeling that it's gonna go like shit but uh, anyway this uh, as you can see this this place is really more of a battlefield than the other place was the I kind of like that though just have one place at the planet be a puzzly thing like a puzzly platformer thing and then another part of the planet is just full frontal attack just a full Frontal Assault, if you will, which is a uh, re also a Ratchet and Clank game, more Europeanly known as Q-Force, which I think is kind of a better name than Full Frontal Assault, but yeah, whatever. Or, or was it called Full Frontal Assault over here? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure anymore. I still don't get why games have to have like a different name in different parts of the world. Then, then again, that's probably due to legal reasons and all that, so I... I guess that's why. So I, I guess I do know. But oh well. As you can also see, our uh, blitz gun is almost fully leveled now at this point. Excuse me. I think I just blew another vacuum tube. Should I have a look? My word! You young people are so fresh these days. Oh, don't feel bad. I guess I'm just old-fashioned about that sort of thing. Did you know that I've been with Gadgetron since the beginning? So you sell these gadgets? Darling, they sell themselves. All right then. If you previously played a little bit, if you've previously played Ratchet and Clank 1, any of the weapons you have earned on your Ratchet and Clank save that are offered at this vendor will be free. Well, you know what the thing is? I got all of them. I think. Wait a minute. They should be free. Why are not why they're not free? Why are they not free? I have all of these weapons. I have all of these weapons on, on the other file. Why are they not... No, now they're free. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Wait, hold on. If I tried to buy them then, would they have to actually cost me money? That's kind of fucked up. That's kind of fucked up. If, if that's actually how that works. Also, yeah, there is a Rhino too. Costs a fucking million bolts. It's a lot of fucking money. Anyway, we can buy all these weapons. And now... It should probably start making sense why the fuck there are so many weapon slots here. And if you think about no, no, you, you can't you cannot upgrade these weapons. So that's actually a thank god moment, because you already have all of these other fucking weapons over here that you need to upgrade. Having eight more weapons to upgrade throughout the entire game, fucking insane. Anyway, yeah, this this is the place where you can buy the Rhino too. I don't know how the fuck this lady got her her hands with fucking metal fingernails on uh, the Rhino too, but nah, whatever. 
What what is the matter? Oh, also apparently I have the walloper selected. I don't know how the fuck that works, but uh, hey, who who knows, huh? What's what's over here, little uh, little fellers? What are you what are you trying to hide from me? Oh, you're trying to hide from me to the pathway back to the ship. All right. Well, that's not actually where I want to go. But yeah, it's, it's it's pretty cool that you can buy uh, weapons back from the uh, from the original game. Hey, who let you in here? Get lost before I flatten your robot into a hubcap. Touch him, and it's Plasma City! Oh, gosh. You didn't have to yell. <laughs> Why did he have to yell? Uh, hey, man. I can't hear you. La, 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 la. Only the little guy. Sir, it is okay. We are your fellow desert riders. You're? So you understand my... Sensitivities? Absolutely, sir. We just came here to race. Well, you can borrow my bluebell, so long as you're gentle. She just needs a few repairs. Hang in there, my brother. Bluebell is in good hands. <laughs> I, lo I love Clank. He he's so nice. He's so considerate. If I if I talk a little bit weirdly, it's because I I fucking bit really hard on my tongue. And now, and now, every time I move my tongue around too much in my mouth, it fucking hurts like hell. So it's kind of a, it's almost annoying to talk in the in the usual way that I do, which is kind of like a fucking slur. That the fucking face, over by controls. There's X to accelerate, L1 to fire weapon pickup, R1, R R1. R1. <laughs> it's a Final Fantasy X character, Mark. You're not doing that game. Am I ever? No, probably not. Anyway, yeah, this is the uh, hover bike races. There are 20 men, which is quite a lot. 20 men is always quite a lot. Um, it's it's actually kind of easier. I realize already for me to. Oh! Sorry for that. There, that's what I wanted to get. There's the uh, pl 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 there's the platinum the bolt for this uh, this planet. Yep, it's not a hard one at all. Anyway, this is hover bike racing. It's, in my opinion, way fucking better than the hover hoverboard racing. Cause this this is just this is just fun. This is just fun racing, and you know it's it's you, 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 there are no like no oh, okay. Well, apparently I still suck anyway. Even though this is not hoverboard racing, I still suck at board at some form of hovering racing. But um, yeah, look out for these guys. These guys can actually bite you and fucking kill you. Which, hey, that's that's never a good thing. But, um, oh, okay, I kind of fucked up there. But yeah, what, what I want to say is that uh, the, the, I, I like how the hover bike racing so much more than the hover, uh, the hoverboard races. The, the only thing is, though, is that there are five missions in this, and I, I already got, like, I, I already got the platinum bolt from this. Most of the missions are just repeat missions. And it's just, it's just repeating this track over and over again with little minor differences and different little uh, rewards that you get for everything. So what I am thinking of doing is just showing all of the rewards you get from all the races and all the differences in the race tracks instead of doing all five fucking races and showing off all of them because that's that would take up the entire episode and I would rather not have an episode like like this so close to episode 3 which was already a fucking arena centered episode I, I don't want something like that again because it's gonna come up again very fucking soon and by very fucking soon I mean next episode probably but um yeah so hover bike racing it's pretty cool there's nothing too fancy to it there's no way to like do any tricks or anything there is one skill point like I've said you need to finish a race in 2 minutes and 10 seconds this is impossible to do on this first race, because this first race is the, is the, this is actually the longest race in all of them, mind you, because in later races like little shortcuts and all start to open up, and that and that's that basically that's basically how you get to uh, how you get to speed up a little bit, because this yeah this was in two oh I even got second fucking place because I got the platinum bolt and all that shit. So, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll just be back once I finish this race. Oh! <laughs> and there we go, I'm first. Wow, that was pretty easy. Great racing, buddy! 
Here, take this helmet so the guys know you're one of us. Thank you, sir. Uh-oh. Here come a message from the boss. Attention all thugs for less employees. First of all, whatever slug brains been eating all the choochie bars in the break room, better quit stuffing his face. Hello? Hey, turn those lights off! It's bad feng shui. Ahem. <clears throat> Next, our space rendezvous point has been moved to, and listen up, knuckleheads, the Felsen system in sector one, two, three, four, five. If you're no good with numbers, find a buddy to help you. Lastly, the company picnic is this Sunday. And don't forget to bring your own juice this time. Hey! I saw that, Cletus! You just earned yourself a write-up! Don't worry. The boss only yells because he loves us. Yes, sir. I do feel his affection. Did you see that broadcast? Not really. We should scope out that rendezvous point. Yes, we might intercept some stray transmissions. I like the I, I like the boss. He's he's pretty cute. I mean, <laughs> whatever, whatever. So as you can see, there's a yeah, four, four more races, and as you can see, there are a couple of prizes for them. There, there there aren't any prizes that are just like give you weapons or any anything like that. It's literally just to get some bolts and the skill point, because the skill point I think you can only get that from like challenge four and onward. So anyways, I'll be back once I finish up race two. As you can also see, well actually, no, you know what? I'm I'm gonna go ahead and show this off a little bit because this is actually quite a quite a big difference already from the first race, because in the first race, there we got some guns we got weapons now we can actually fucking kill our competition it's actually starting to turn a little bit more into an actual racer which i like because in, in in the first race you like at the fucking third lap you're already getting kind of bored because it's not it's not hard it's not fucking hard at all it's really easy and especially compared to the hoverboard races in the first game th those ones were pretty damn challenging but oh okay but just this Hover bike races are just a lot, a lot easier to do than the uh, the hoverboard races. Yeah, these weapons there are a couple of weapons. There's a shield, I believe. There's a mine. There's a rocket. There's a turret thing. It's yeah. There's there's basically anything you can really think of. But it's it's all fairly easy, and it's all well. I mean, it's not easy. That's that's me talking about the race again, the race itself. What I mean to say is that uh, it's just. The, the, the weapons are fun to use. They're, they're not too much of a focus on the on the on the game because, as you can see, the robots themselves are not using it. Eventually, they will start to use the weapons, and that could get a little bit annoying. But eh. oh, there's also that one, which just destroys every ship that's like in front of you, which is a pretty good one. And there we go. I finished it in 2:23, which is pretty good. I mean, it's faster than the other thing. So now we have the main canyon and the caves open. I'll show you off what that is. It's all... Alright, well, back here is... Uh, the caves are open now. Which is pretty cool. This is just a little extra area. And this is also, I believe, the only... Uh, the only extra area that this entire place has. As you can see, it, it does go a little bit faster than the other one. So that's, that's something to keep in mind when you're trying to get the skill point. It's, uh... It, might be possible already from this point on, so I, I guess I will try, but I don't think I'm gonna get it because I did fuck up a little bit and crashed into a wall. Because wh when you when you want to try to get go for the skill point, you want to basically try to land on every single one of these boosts, and then try to uh, get into the shortcut every single time. And that's race number three. As you can see, I got fairly close to the skill point. It's probably best to do the skill point in this one, considering, as you can see in this one, the races actually attack Ratchet. Which can get fairly annoying, to be fair, but uh, as long as you try to just boost everything and just get in front of uh, all of them, it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. One thing, if, one thing uh, I will say about the enemies uh, trying to attack you, they, they can only attack you with rockets, and... When they, when they try to do so, you will see uh, like an aiming reticule. Uh, the way to avoid that, I used to think that you couldn't avoid that and that you were just fucked at that point. But no, the, the way you avoid that is by just swerving left and right with your uh, with your hover bike the entire time like this. You just do that and then you should be fine if you don't crash into a fucking wall like I just did and completely fuck up and maybe even not get first place anymore. Nope, I do.
All right, there we go. Oh, that was really fucking close. Holy shit, do you see second place? That was fuck. Jesus Christ. Well, anyway, yeah, as you can see, that's, uh... Th there's not much of a difference. The, the enemies are just a little bit more aggressive. All right. Well, I finished the final race, and... Under... 2-7. So as you can see, we got a skill point, and we are... We got first place on the final race, so I... All fine and dandy, we completed this entire planet now. Isn't that just fucking great? Yeah, it's it's not too difficult. I, I honestly, the only advice that I can just really give you is just swerve a lot while you're on the uh, while you're on the hover bike, and that's really, really like I said, all the advice that I can give you. Anyway, uh, as you can see, we have a shit ton of bolts now. So, what better than to spend it on the good old mini turret glove ammo thing? Isn't that just amazing? Also, we didn't even get enough. We didn't even get enough uh, fucking bolts. We, we, wait, I mean, we didn't get all the ammo with the weapons. That's kind of bullshit, but you know, whatever. Um, we're fairly close to upgrading the blitz gun, like I said a couple of minutes ago. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go through the entire stage again and just upgrade this thing, and then I'll meet you back at the ship. And there we go, the blitz gun has been upgraded to the blitz cannon, which is fucking insane in damage, but I think it's uh, even better now. So now that, we, uh, now that we've done that, that's really all I wanted to do that was left on this planet, because now all we have left is three guns that still need to be upgraded. Speaking of which, let me just uh, replace this gun with that one, because I, 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 I barely ever use that weapon. Anyway. Now that we've completely finished Planet Barlow, let's go over to the Thug Rendezvous Feltsin system, yo. Yo, defeat the Thug ships. There's one Platinum Bolt on here, and zero skill points. So this is the first area, I believe, with uh, zero skill points. Well, th unless you count the area that was before um, this, that space station. But I, I don't count that. Because that's not a location we can revisit. Yes, let's hope that. Also, there are four challenges on this web planet. Yay! Look, it's more... It's, it's more, uh, fucking... It's more... <laughs> it's, it's just, it's more. Anyway, uh, hey, I... You won't hear me complaining about this, because I fucking love it. I, I love the space shooting parts of this game. I just I just love the space shooting parts in, in any version of Clank Clank... Clank... Wow, I can't speak today. I love the space part of any Resident Clan game, to be fair, so that's not really a valid thing to say. Now is it? Hold on, where the fuck? So, <laughs> it's one thing I will I will say about this, you you might get a little bit disoriented sometimes. Uh, a, a good idea, by the way, is to always shoot those crystal-like things, because they, they will drop, like, shields and all that sort of thing, and, oh, rare titanium. That's another thing I haven't spoken about yet. Uh, eventually, you will be able to uh, actually upgrade your ship, which is pretty damn great in my opinion. It's actually something that, like, speaking of Star Fox again, it's kind of something. Like, I, I, I thought, like, hey, what, what if a Star Fox game had that? You know, where you could. It's kind of like how uh, old, like, Galaga games and stuff like that had like an upgrade system, but it was like a, a like a choice upgrade system. So it's like. It's like, it's, it's like it's like one idea I always had, like a Star Fox 64 like game, and then together with the fact that you can choose the route that you go on, you can also choose the route of upgrades that you go on. Th that's, that, that's always seemed like a pretty cool idea to me, and something that, to me, sounds like it could very well work in a game like Star Fox, because it's already so choice oriented anyway, so why not do that as well, you know? So these ships can really just fuck right off, especially, oh, especially those... Cause they, 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 they don't take just one hit. Why the fuck is he swerving around so much? Yeah. Did he, did he watch this episode before you guys and uh, heard me say that swerving around is the best way to avoid enemy attack? Because it is. It, it kind of is the same in this thing. It's just like swerve around and it'll eventually be like right in front of you. Anyway, that was wave one. I believe there's like two more waves. Or, like one more wave, something like that. Um, yeah, it, it's not too difficult, like, just like the hover bike races, this is kind of similar, 
to that, whereas in like the, the challenges don't change around too much. So I might not really show them off as much as I would in the arena fights. Because the arena fights, like the arena, the reason I showed all of the arena fights is because they, they differ fair, like they differ in a fair amount. It is pretty interesting, like the things that they do, the whole dual battles against the bosses and then the whole uh, the, the weapon challenges and all that. Speaking of, uh, I did say that I would return to the arena if there are weapon challenges that I've missed due to me not having weapons fully upgraded at that time. Uh, I will do that, but I will do that in the bonus episode of this Let's Play, because I will be trying to like have a bonus episode for every Let's Play, just so I can like have some closing closing thoughts, closing talks, and just closing information that I was never able to really, to, to really disclose in uh, any other part of the Let's Play. Um, the Raritanium, you probably won't be getting enough uh, Raritanium throughout the game to be able to fully upgrade your ship so you might have to do the whole uh, the whole challenge mode to do that speaking of challenge mode in challenge mode you actually uh, if you have a weapon fully upgraded you can actually buy an, an, an even more upgraded version of that weapon and then e to upgrade that even more it's it's kind of fucking insane to be fair it, it's kind of fun but they don't give any achievement or like trophy for upgrading the upgraded versions of the weapons so, it's it's really it's really just extra stuff to throw your gun, throw your bolts at. Oh, yeah, I've got mad skills, mad sk. Uh, yeah, a difficult challenge, but one that a train commando. Hold on, I'm intercepting a transmission. For the fifth time, I have a collect call to thugs for less from a Mister. You are gonna die. Will you accept the charges? Ah, uh, you are gonna die. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you. You idiot. <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm paying top dollar for your protection, and your moron employees are off at some picnic. Hey, that was a bonding exercise. Hey, not! I'm at the pickup point now. If your men aren't here pronto, you can kiss this contract goodbye. Uh, oh, yeah? Well, you can kiss your, uh, uh, your, your, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, dang it. Did you trace that? Coordinates locked in. We are headed there now. Well, isn't that fun? We got the coordinates for Planet Notok. Now, how about we do that in the next episode? And we also finish up this uh, sector in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.